Palestine is under fire. This time it's sparked by an ongoing court case surrounding the forced eviction of Palestinian families from their neighborhood in occupied East Jerusalem. We from that year, 1956, live here until now. Israel wants to turn the area into a Jewish settlement. It's a pattern that has repeated over the years. The protests spread all across Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories. What followed was a heavy bombardment on besieged Gaza. And for Gazans, yet another round of suffering. Sheikh Jarrah is the tiny neighborhood that's ignited. On the 73rd anniversary of Nakba, or the Great Catastrophe, Palestinians in Sheikh Jarrah face another expulsion. Since 2002, they have been forced out of the occupied East Jerusalem neighborhood. And those who have managed to hold on are subject to ongoing threats and violence from Israeli settlers who seek to take over their homes. Since the beginning of 2020, Israeli courts have ordered 13 more Palestinian families out of Sheikh Jarrah, even though they have lived there for generations. The situation escalated on May 6 this year, when settlers on rooftops began throwing stones, glass bottles and various objects on the group of Palestinians breaking their Ramadan fast. The Palestinians responded and the fight broke out between the two groups. Palestinians protested over the next days despite harassment by both settlers and Israeli police. Munal Kurd may soon be forced out of Sheikh Jarrah. She and her friends are putting up a resistance by drawing murals on the walls of their homes. In solidarity with families in Sheikh Jarrah, tens of thousands of Muslim worshippers began filling the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. Israeli forces then stormed the mosque with stun grenades and rubber-coated bullets. Many Palestinians believe this was payback for protesting against the forced evictions. The gatherings continued, and during the last days of the month of Ramadan, Israeli forces tried to disperse the worshippers, as Palestinians confronted them with just stones. A police statement said the Palestinians were detained on charges of throwing stones and assaulting police officers and civilians. On the first three days alone, more than 600 Palestinians were injured. Meanwhile, people in Sheikh Jarrah called on Palestine to unite. Demonstrations against Al-Aqsa attacks and Sheikh Jarrah expulsions soon spread across Israel, the occupied West Bank and the besieged Gaza. And as the sit-ins continued in Sheikh Jarrah, an Israeli court delayed a scheduled hearing on a Palestinian appeal against evictions due to heightened tensions. The settlers saw this as a momentary victory for Palestinians. Muna's 77-year-old father, Nabil al-Kurd, says it's their land and whatever the court decides, they will remain. <laughs>
After a violent weekend, it was announced that the Israel's Flag Day, or Jerusalem Day, would include a march to Al-Aqsa. And in the early hours of Monday on May 10, Palestinians began convening to protect the compound. Israeli security forces then stormed Al-Aqsa again, firing rubber-coated bullets, tear gas and sound bombs at worshippers, wounding more than 300 Palestinians and stoking international outrage. Israeli forces detained dozens of Palestinians and physically assaulted many others. Not long after, Israeli settlers carrying knives, guns and rifles began forming mobs in the streets chanting death to all Arabs. They blocked roads, stopping cars to beat up Palestinians. Palestinians say Israeli police did nothing but watch. Meanwhile, Hamas announced it had given an ultimatum to Israel to withdraw its security forces from the Al-Aqsa compound and Sheikh Jarrah. ونحن قلنا للجميع بأن الذي أشعل النار تحديدا في القدس والأقصى وامتد لهيبها إلى غزة هو الاحتلال الإسرائيلي وبالتالي هو المسؤول عن كل التداعيات إذا بدهم صعدوا المقاومة جاهزة بدهم يوقفوا المقاومة جاهزة دم يرفع يدهم عن القدس المقاومة جاهزة هذه رسالة أوصلناها لجميع الأطراف ولكل من يعنيه الأمر. But Israel intensified its crackdowns, and just two days before Eid al-Fitr, the siege Gaza faded away to airstrikes. That morning, many Palestinians in Gaza woke up to loss. They include five-month-old Omar, left without a mother and siblings. ولا قصفوا ولا عملوا ولا سووا آمنين في بيوتهم رايحين عيدوا رايحين عيدوا على خيالهم لا تجينا وايد العيد نيجي نخدم المستشفيات أشلاء خمس شهور ابن الصغير هاي في المستشفى مصاب إيش عمل ضرب صاروخ على اليهود مين مين زعل ابن الصغير خمس شهور حسبي الله ونعم الوكيل homes mosques libraries were leveled people in Gaza say Israel also intentionally struck the city's highest towers. Al Shuruq, Hanadi, Al Jala, and others, which contained youth facilities, restaurants, education centers, shops, and media offices, including those of Al Jazeera and Associated Press. Mohammed witnessed Al Jala Tower crumble to the ground. I'm the airstrikes continued to take lives and almost entire families. Her cousin, Shayma Abul Auf, was 21 years old and studying to become a dentist. I'm 
بعض نام السفر راح مرته راحت بنته راحت ابنه راحت بس لواحد اللي نازل من بناتهم عائلة كاملة خمس أطفال واحد يطلع من بناتهم عايش عشان تنزلوا عليهم العمارة إيش ذنبهم الأطفال Shayma's fiance Anas is still grateful to God despite everything. I mean, I saw a few hours after the Eid. Maybe in a month, a month, I was in the shop. We were talking about these things. And thank God for the Almighty. The night after the Eid, I told her, "Where are you? Where 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 are you? أرسى كمان شهر هينا حضرته أحلى أرس أحلى أرس من جل الله يرحم روحك يا رب أخواتها إما أبوها هينا كلها والله الحمد لله يعني شهادة ونلتها وبتبتسم يومين صار لي بدور عليها ولو برجع بدور وبالأخير أنا جاب التلاجة وتسألنا فيها الحمد لله رب العالمين صاروا يطلعوا للشهداء وطلعوا الشهداء المهم روحت بأتفرج بدأ ودعها لقيتها بتضحك قلت والله انك انت احسن مني وراح عشان الحمد لله رب العالمين تعود الله بسم الله الرحمن كنت كل ما احكي لها شيء ما بدي اجي عندك اه تحكي لي لا تتحركش من الدار وان شاء الله يا رب تعدي الامور على خير صار لي سنتين ونص خاطئ دكتوره ودكتوره دكتوره اسنان اخذت العبوه تاعتها الحمد لله بتمم عندي تذكار يعني يحكم عليها والحمد لله رب العالمين لقيتها بتبتسم وادي يعني والله كرامه انا بالنسبه لي كرامه As rescue crews searched for survivors, the Israeli military also bombed medical centers. What has happened there is, is a horrible massacre for the honest people here who, was, who are live here. They was killed without anything, without doing any wrong things. They have destroyed the buildings without saying to them, evacuate yourself or your sons or your daughters. They have destroyed the buildings on the heads of them. There is no safe place in Gaza. If there is a safe place, these homes were safe places, but the Zionists has bombed them so that there is no safe places. The streets are not safe, the hospitals, the ambulances, everything. Even this jacket which we are wearing, which will not save us, and the ambulances that we uh, take the shohada and the injured uh, will not save for us. So that there is no safe place in Gaza. The World Health Organization says Israeli airstrikes have damaged at least 18 hospitals and clinics in Gaza and the bombing of key roads, including those leading to hospitals, have hindered ambulances and vehicles from delivering aid. اصابات التي تاتي الى مجمع الشفاء الطبي والمجمع الاكبر في قطاع غزه معظمها اصابات خطيره يعني اصابات تتنوع ما بين الاطفال والنساء والكبار والشيوخ وجميع الاعمار والفئات الاصابات تتوزع في شظايا في جميع انحاء الجسم يعني هناك أطفال تم بتر أقدامهم تم بتر أيديهم هناك أطفال وصلوا إلى جثث يعني مقطعة الأشلاء. The series of air raids on various locations continued, leaving survivors searching for their loved ones. Riyadh had lost a lot more than a home. هذا اللي وقت كلهم عاد كانوا ثلاثة عفرشة وسوزة وزين الصغير التالي الخامس معها على الفرشة. المهم هي بتعبط اجى كمان صاروخ علينا انا السقف الحيطه على ظهري واخذني لمكان ما بعرفش وين رحت ومرتي راحت رياض woke up to the sound of debris being moved and was pulled out alive with his six year old daughter Suzy ربطنا بدون سابق انذار انا زلمه لا الي في تنظيم ولا حتى الي في اي لون ولا حتى موظف سلطه غلبان من هي في حالي وانا عندي خمس ابناء وصغار 
it took rescuers several more hours to find the bodies of his wife and four other children. Journalist Ala Shamali is one of tens of thousands of Palestinians who have lost their homes to Israeli airstrikes. وطبعاً قمت بتملك شقة سكنية في هذه العمارة التي طبعاً دمرت وسويت بالأرض وهي عبارة عن عمارتين منفصلتين كل عمارة فيها خمس طوابق يعني ما يقارب 35 شقة سكنية تم تهجيرها في غمضة عين يعني أشرقت شمس الأحد الماضي 17-5 على وقع طائرات الاحتلال وهي تسوي هذه العمارة بالأرض وطبعاً دمرت and for Ala, this isn't the first time. البعد عن البعد عن عن الدمار عن الخطر الحقيقي الموجود على حدود غزة لكن الخطر دائما ما يلاحقنا أينما ذهبنا. Despite it all, Ala is still determined to make a life for himself and his family. But others in Gaza aren't so confident. يعني إيش بدي أحكي لك أنا يعني الصور غنية عن التعريف يعني يعني الصور تحكي اللي صار يعني دمار. إرهاب قتل تهجير كل المصطلحات اللي موجودة في الدنيا بتحكيها من اللي صار الليلة عندنا إحنا نايمين عادي عادي أما يقتلوا عشر تنفار عنده سبع عنده ست أو ست أطفال أصغرهم الست حامل في لحظة ما تلاقي حد في إحنا عنا ثلاث عيال هذه فيها سب ست عيال هذه فيها خمس عيال هذه فيها أربع عيال جيراننا دار الفزندار نفس الحاجة دار العش نفس الحاجة كل أقل أقل بيت كل مش كله بده يدور على على مكان يسكن فيه لأن البيوت لا تصل للسكن أنت خش الدمار جوا في الدار يعني الأرض طلعت من فوق يعني يضرب يضرب بأطفال بصواريخ أف 16 أمريكية الصنع وبقول لك أمريكا حقوق الإنسان وإيش أني حقوق إنسان إحنا أي حقوق الإنسان إحنا المظلومين إحنا اللي مخبط في رقوبنا إحنا المجارين إحنا اللي مسلوب حقوقنا أنت أقول لك هاي الموضوع مش تحكي لك عن الله أربعة لا تمنى ما بتمنى وهذا رسالة أرجو أن تصل للعالم العرب للزعماء العرب These children are meant to be studying here, but these classrooms have now become a shelter for those displaced. Ihab al Attar, who most recently lived in Beit Lahia near Gaza's border with Israel, fled his home to United Nations facilities three times before. Once again, he sought shelter in a UN school. The bombardment that destroyed his home has this time also killed four members of his family. At the time, the forces of the Israeli forces were in the planes, in their planes, and they were in the air. It was a fire in the air, and they were all in the air. معرفنا بعجوبة إحنا لما أطلعنا أنا كنت تحت لنقاد هلت علي وبناتي كانوا معي كلهم بس ما قدروا يطلعوني قلت لهم أشردوا أنتوا سبوني جمعنا بعض وطلعنا غلت أخت مرت أخوي وولادها الثلاثة استشهدوا بنفس البيت وسبناهم وطلعنا لما أجا لسعفات المطافي والهاد لما طلعوهم من تحت الركام طلعوا شهداء Gaza is a 365-square-kilometer enclave and with 2 million people. It's one of the most densely populated areas on the planet. The UN says more than 450 buildings are now destroyed or badly damaged, while more than 75,000 people have nowhere to live. Amnesty International has now called for an investigation into war crimes. Since Israel's first airstrike on the 10th of May, more than 200 Palestinians in Gaza have been killed. Around 1,500 others are injured, and these numbers are expected to rise. 
The bombings have also claimed the lives of more than 60 children. Thank you.